Yan uwane. Let's take. Okay, what's a good book? Sorry. Chat window. Hmm. Hey, what's a thing? You took a tongue, you hun. Ya have I a yak was a teen. Ya has to has to yet key a ya wish goon ye a dot a ya you has a dot a ya you has out the attic way gook sa ya ha ani ka. Chakut at a yakutsati. Ya kayani, ka at katu atti. Ha dasa wutusaku, waiter a da. Dasa aya, duhai at. Wash nak a yakutsati. We ha anika. Ka wutusaku tachasuku kayani a ya ke uwa a. Just the kata anika. Chakut a. Dak ka ka ech ka wash na ki ka ech ki chaye kukinki chakut at aya kuzati ya ech ki singit has au sati nuch chai ka shah ya kua shei shei ka yan dak ka kua dak sa eh ka uch eight again What's that do a sound quite balsam koi? Misa kook she? Kook eight. Ah, yeah, kook eight. Kaa, we ask kwaani aya chakut at aya kuziti ya haani kook. Ya dak ka ka eit ka ka ich ki ka na ki. Ya has tu we dak ka ka yak dat ka uu ka shkut ka jilkat. Ya has au satin has dat aya ka gunnachu. At dayi ka duk. Ya ko a chaye gu geng gwas khuna gwas chakut a khuziti we aas khwani. Ya da ko a gwas da sa yi te wasa gu a da diu gatu la atki. Ya da sa khuziti we chakut a ne kakh ka da sa has a kha da sa wutu wa da sa te kha ya chakut a ne dakh. Ka dasa we na kusati. Jagu cha asa di tu wasagu yuk e watan. Jis khan kanani ka ka e ide ka kwa ha. Jis le kat yuha na kutu wasagu. Yisa kwa akhi kwa a. Jis kaya ka na kh. Aga awe wush ka na kh ka khtu da aad ya kh. We a kh. Ye awe kwa na kh ka tu wasagu. Lengit kay na kh wush yuk atu tla atki. Aqa has insu ya shingit khinak yuk atla atki. Ya shiyad dahini a gwas wush kanak gakhtu da aad. Daq ka daq gwas nask jin kaad nakh aya hade has gwa kuk. Ka hade has kuk gwa tiin su ja ja gud aani a daq. Ya we ach tuwa sugu jas konnach ywe llingit gach tu tla yeichi. A jwa yi dat jas ka gach tu aqo. Ja yi gugin gi a tu tla yeich. Wait a daan. 
ยีคอฮะคอกึกเวฮิมตาฮิมนักนิชเยดูสักนิชเยดูสักคัตซูเวอาร์นัก Hell, meet you. Do it. Just ah, nah. Ah, yach. Ah, yach. Yeah, do it. Just eight, 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 Hin chayach. Yeah, I want to get egg and cheese. You did call it, do you, sir? What's it do? Yeah, what's it do? Yeah, um, like, Eight, um, eight hini, uh, eight hini ka, uh, ka, um, hin. So, like, uh, what's I do a song? Yeah, uh, wetlands or estuary. Oh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, do peace to ye. Well, peace to ye, ye do a saga at way on. Yeah, eight hini a car a ya way. What yen uada hin talk on ye? Yen the same for a clash slain, just slain that for a peace to ye. Gwell dachka a yi kwa a shachk yi du a sa gwa at tlach eil hini wei tlach ki ta yi hini kwa shachk a kach a ya yi ke uwa a wei a ta gwe gyi llyad i chu kan shachk ka a si shachk ka gwa li Yeah, well, yet a car keys to ye. Keys to ye, I am a car key or are we suck take car suck cardsy. Ya do high at a ya. Conacher a yak a. The eighty Kayani could not. Ah, that's a that's he me. Tuyenka. Kathini. Kathini. Kasaku. Kath again. A new a dot. Kath. Get away. You do a like a green wetlands. Oh. Oh. We wetlands aya gushing it aya shatch ka yis hini aya shatch ya eight hini ko a kids shu yi we eight hini a tie ani kids shu yi ye do a song at Kako a yada da was tesh a a ko a dekak in a marsh was swamp shachk ye do a saga a peace chu ye peace chu ye ko a a eight he need ye seen a just heen was tatki tai heen 
groundwater Cold and a good where do um nach uh hin hin ye uh would uh what's it do a car lower throw Uh, what do the Cassia eat there? Eat a a do a car with the agent the good where Tots Quani, um, um. Who shook out the attic? Where they ate in the good? Yeah, what? Yak eh, yak eh. Yeah, what? 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 Just a 
ye a wech wa tu ka ho ach ye a kina a ye chai hasti to us a goo a ka a kach away kak kut ak we a ye hai dasa we chak in kuk kushagao ya nak hasti to us a goo a ka has ye de nakut ya has de nahu ye aweka kunakas o shakuk we a tie ye Six ye do a saga at what? Six again? Ye see who gave way da? Was that do a saga way? A click out in a hue. A shoe aya. Sucks ye aya. Ya de kina yuk a tongue ye kashinki duk a tongue ye. Catch a shugu yuk a tongue a koa. Shing it aya sucks. You ka sucks a ya yata chunate tin out out to toko. Yeah, chunate tin to toko. Yeah, we we sucks in a tie a ye a ka a yanach a yanach. Yenach a cat say a cock What's that? A do a we a a has a cow a duke a cock a ya, what has a dawa ah we we knock a ra ya te a ya get a way take a duck a ya, connect a cow yet a two a cow yet a two a dawa ah we tan who te ye tan to duck a ya, ye were has to to us a good way te. A card just connect away, we eat. Eka a yahach a kaku ausuku gooksa, we eat. Eat ka ye do a sago at what ye awehwa ho ach ya kushtako ish. Eat kas ow ye do a sago at ya ya gi ya ach dach a si. Had a hewa woos. Was that do a sock? King. King again? Ah, an kawu. A ka a hina kawanig. Ah, to was a goo an kawu's ow. Ha. Yak eh. Ye do a sock at her eat kas ow. Ye awek wa ah we kushtako ish hedach. Ya one kanis. Ah, kunis cheesh. Yak eh. Chisha in Kainigi way chart this air a dart. Did that for a disadu to us a goo? Was a goo, you ratangi aya? Ye shakook, ye Which again? Okay. Okay. Uh, you ask to her ye, uh, Uh, ye, kayani, um, Hasaka Nooch Um Kasagena Has Nagut Has at Nagut Ah Ozik 
Kehas Wuditlet, Kutank, Daka Quanch, We Katlakach, Wutuwa, Wutuwa, Tlun, Ka We Nusk, Katlakach, um, like We Nusk, Katlakach, um, our tune su um, uh, you talk, Yanach, no, you talk, Kanach, uh, we had to catch, um, we coo, we coo, woo, has, has not teach, has not teach. Um, <laughs> 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 Takuta Kayani Tauk Koa Ya the cut has to die it a shoe woo a tie. Ye awak wa ach. Ye egg and cheese. Ya ya da ach to us a goo a dat you a hotan a yig genki a ya de ah just the cut at gook day a ye. Click in a command form. Yisiku ge was away, das away. Click hark in a way yata at nagu. Das away, click hark in a ha. Go there. Click. Yet walk. So yeah. Walk. Ah, uh, try just try to get a yana. Ah, uh, a day nagu. Walk there. Mm-hmm. A dach nagu. Walk from there? Uh, walk away from there. Oh, wait. Uh, Hagu. Gwash come here, gwash go there. Tadasa. Atka. Walk there? Walk. Yeah. Ya kaku. We'll go there now. Walk up there. That's a good, yeah. And so this one is kind of unusual. Uh, actually, I, I thought of it because Kei Yishi gave it to us as a sample sentence for Khashakach. And this would just be walk. And and so it's a it's a really interesting sort of form. So like when when would you sort of use these or what would the differences kind of be between when you might use these? Um, so you know, atnaku would be walk around you know, I don't I don't know, I guess a context would be you're telling someone to kind of take a walk. Just take a walk, right? Adenagu would be like walk over there, walk to that thing we've been talking about. A uh, could also be like get away from it, uh, like so. If some kid is near something they shouldn't be, you could say a and then haku is a. Um, so you know this is you know hot gu, right? So hot yigu di is what we say usually in the perfective, but we just these they just kind of combine. That's how we usually write them. 
Uh, Neilku is a very similar form to that. Atku is also similar, so these are both zero conjugation. And there's a slight difference between these two. This, I say, you know, if you're getting pretty literal, literal uh, walk there, and then, you know, um, this would be sort of like arrive there, like make it to that place. And then this one is just sort of uh, like if you're practicing positive parenting, and instead of saying, don't run, you say, walk, right? So, yagagu, and you could say, uh, walk slowly, right? And so, uh, the, and how this was shown to us was something like, uh, and I think it was, I don't know if I spelled that right. And I, th I don't know if the ya stays in there. I'll have to check it. But that's what it looked like. Yaka gutch. And so we thought it was walking upwards or something or walking downwards because I thought I was hearing the fa in the front. But when we asked her about it, she said, no, it just means they walk. And so there's something about this form which is just strictly dealing with the action, which is really interesting because sometimes, um, you know, I think you would say this, start walking. Right, because I know uh, we get this one from uh, Shakshani when we were doing a red light, green light, sort of, we are looking at these cards, and she said, start driving. You know, so I would expect because the T tends to fall off on those command forms. Okay. Uh, so, you know, it's fun to just sort of, it's fun for me anyway, to so just start figuring out ways to keep using the language, talk about it. Uh, the more often you can try this, I think you realize where your blank spots might be. And so um, we'll try a few, we'll try this a few more times with a few different things, just a little warm-ups to get our class started and, you know, think about how to start using the language, and then this will probably lead us to think about, oh, how would I say this type of thing or that type of thing? Uh, but we do need to talk about next week, because uh, if you can make it, the Language Summit is going on Tuesday through Thursday. Monday, we will be having our class. We're going to have um, the Tesson folks here. Uh, there's about 30 of them coming down, so this will probably be a very full room. Uh, we, we'll see how it goes. I'll probably ask the speakers who come to talk to us. Uh, it'd be nice if we gave them some responses in Shingit, and then maybe we can just open it up for a kind of a larger conversation. Then during the summit itself, uh, there's these sort of three areas in Centennial Hall. So there'll be a stage with these four tables, and that the tables are for the fluent speakers. And then there'll be a, a smaller set of tables for uh, people who can understand Tlingit but don't speak, and then for uh, the second language speakers. And so I have uh, given them your names, but if you are going, uh, you should probably let them know and just say, I'm coming and I'm a, a second language speaker because then you're going to get your meals and you're going to get to sit with the gang. And at some point, you will probably be invited to say something. Uh, so this is your chance to sort of think of what that something might be. Uh, in an ideal universe, you're responding to the moment. There's a number of different uh, topics. I think we went over those topics uh, the other day. Uh, I don't have the most up-to-date uh, agenda. We did look at it today. I've got an older version, and so the topics haven't changed, but maybe the way that they're titled has changed. So, uh, yeah, so let me... That's a good question. The question is, who do we let know that we might be coming? It's Ralphinia... Ralphinia Dibdahl. Dibdahl. 
And so let me see if it's on here. Her email is her name. Okay, and it's Cheesh. So it's right here. If you go to Sea Alaska Heritage, uh, their website, and then from their website on the home page, uh, you can look, click on the uh, language summit, and then her phone number and email are there. And so just let them know there's some information. You also know, bring regalia. Uh, be prepared. We are going to try and do as much of this in Tlingit as we can. Uh, oh, I guess that's on it. And then there will be some uh, more kind of informal sessions where we get to brainstorm and we get to sort of talk and strategize a little bit. And then there's going to be some times where we're, we're going to listen to George Davis, a couple of clips of him, uh, you know, where that phrase Suhe Deshu Gachtutan came out of, where Yakuske Dakit. Oh, Chish. And then, uh, yeah, so three days, it goes all day. And so we won't be having class here on Wednesday. And it's a, it's a big time uh, investment. There will be, and if you can't make it, uh, it's going to be, go to the Sea Alaska Heritage website. Uh, there will, it'll either be broadcast from their website or there'll be a link to the, it'll be webcast, you know, and it'll also be on 360 North. Uh, so there's going to be live, the whole thing will be covered. And so uh, because it's such a time investment, and I'm hoping that you can make as much of it as you can. I know we've all got other things going on, uh, but this, this will probably be the largest gathering of speakers uh, for a, quite a while. And so they're coming from all over the place. Uh, see, Alaska has been working to try and contact as many speakers as possible. The ones who were able to travel uh, are coming, and the ones who are comfortable to sort of come to a session like this. There will be live translators, uh, and then there'll also be sections that, when we have presenters who are presenting in English, uh, we'll have someone who translates with them on the stage, just to really encourage like primary language status for Tlingit. So like we were talking with the broadcasters today and they said, well, you know, I was like, well, we want English to be this, where you push the sap button and you know, and you gotta, you gotta find it. And then we want Tlingit to be like the default language. And so they even talked about like on YouTube, when you watch a video, you can select a language from it. And I said, there should be a, when you click the English button, there should be a little icon that pops up and goes, really? You know? Um, but and there'll be storytelling uh, during the evenings at dinner. There'll be chances for to do oratory. If you have things that you want to share, uh, feel free to bring them. Um, we're going to try to stay in a positive, sort of celebrating the moment type of mode. I know a lot of people, when you do stuff with language, they're, they're just going to get upset. And this is just something that uh, is pretty common, I think, with, with indigenous languages and, and bringing them to this kind of a safer space in terms of them being endangered. It just comes with the territory. Uh, but yeah, and just be ready, ready to talk, ready to listen. Any questions about the... Uh, Kune, could you... Um go over those topics again or email us the uh, the list or something? Yeah, let me find the agenda that I have. Ms. Chen, did you have something? Um, I think I should just let this go, but you said uh, there might be an opportunity to talk. Do you have any idea like what moment that might be so we could prepare and what to respond to or? Oh, sure. Well, let's look at the topics. They'll probably be related to the topics. Um, so this is an older draft. Let me see if I f spot things. So uh, explaining why we're gathering, uh, giving a status of Clinket, Haida, and Simshian. Uh, 
just talking about ways that people think about languages, talking about this concept of what a fluent comprehender is. And so that's basically somebody who can understand Tlingit, but does not speak it. Uh, and there's lots of different levels. I mean, we're just talking about this today, you know, so some folks who just say, yeah, I don't speak it. But then there, there's a bunch of different environments. There's folks who's like, who say, I don't speak it. And then you start speaking it and they're like, then they're correcting your, your speaking or they're translating. Uh, and then there's some folks where, you know, you give them a beer or get them relaxed and they'll start speaking, right? Uh, and then we'll have this sort of open discussion. And so there are times where it's kind of, we're encouraging the fluent speakers to speak. Then uh, the language is in my home. And then we, we talk about how the, the language has changed. So where and when did you speak your native language? Discuss your family life uh, and what it was like. Did you speak your language when you went to school? Sharing memories of boarding schools. Uh, open discussion on boarding schools and also like some language suppression uh, conversations. Dinner and oratory, that might be a chance where you can share some things. It depends. You might have some things ready. Uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll sort of, we'll be working collaboratively and kind of, kind of coming up with topics. Uh, and then uh, talking about major things that your languages might be facing, reporting back, uh, talking about healing through our languages, having a ceremony to actually heal, uh, listening to this Because We Cherish You re recording from uh, Kichnach, and then talking about how do I feel when I speak, how do I feel when I cannot speak, More, and then dinner and oratory again. Day three, we start with storytelling, open discussion on storytelling. Did you hear stories growing up? Uh, when and where were stories told? How did we learn storytelling? Uh, can you tell a story uh, about your, your crest, your name, your clan? And then, oh, I guess that's still, yeah, so then we're still on Thursday, sorry, lunch. And then we break into discussions with between women and men and things that we need to be thinking of. And then we come back and we have a celebration uh, dinner and uh, probably more oratory, a dance group. And so there will be chances, and I know that people will be happy to hear folks talk. And so it's certainly not any type of uh, examination or uh, you know, no, we shouldn't be thinking of this as challenging each other. We should just be, we want to show folks that we're, we're learning how to communicate in the language. And so there might be chances to share some things. Um, and so it's not standing up and introducing yourself. It's actually giving content. And so even if it's relatively short and simple, that's totally fine. Because uh, there might be times where, uh, and, you know, so we kind of set an agenda working with the Council of Traditional Scholars and then a pretty large working group that's planning this. But there might be folks there if some of the elders say, we want to hear from these learners. You know, and so this, this is part of being in, in the language circle is sometimes, uh, you know, and so f for those of us who are learning, sometimes you just go to an event and then someone's like, so and so is going to talk to you, and you're like, "Oh no!" Right? And so, but just be ready, and so uh, try and have fun. Try to uh, uh, there'll be also chances to intermingle with folks, and we're going to try to have encourage everybody to stay in the language as much as possible. And so that's a good time to just sort of practice listening and speaking. Uh, we'll probably talk. Uh, as the days get started about some tools you might employ, uh, I would encourage you to maybe try to write down stuff that you don't understand because, and then just kind of be in the moment. Like if there's something that somebody says that you don't understand, 
Um, maybe look to someone, uh, you know, I guess I should make up a little thing. Like there's some key phrases, like I hope we know how to say, um, we know that one? Okay, so this is a good one uh, to know. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand. There's the one from Yakutat, right? You guys did a sheet with like a bunch of phrases for... Yeah. Is that something you could send to us so we could print or if you could... Would you be able to bring that Monday or week? I mean, just so we could have like a kind of a... like. Tweet. Yeah, I'll bring that on Monday. So I'll, I'll take a look at that and see if there's anything I might need to clean up. And then um, think it, you know, it's a good, if you've got that's got a bunch of phrases in there that are really helpful. Um, it's probably if you could find someone that might be a little bit more, because uh, it's probably not the worst thing to say. Uh, but then again, it, it's sort of a, it just pushes us out of the moment as well. So I guess I would prefer, like let's say we're sitting at a table and then somebody says something to you and you said like, if there was someone there um, who could help and maybe just sort of, you could look to them and maybe they could, maybe we could write it down or something or maybe we could just whisper it, you know, Let's see, wondering if you could send a copy of your agenda for the event. Uh, yeah, I'll try. I'll, it'll be going to print and finalized. Oh, Gnuchish, that's probably correct. I think it's being finalized and then, uh, so tomorrow it should be ready. And then I'll ask them to just put it on their website. Uh, and then you should be able to just go to the website and get the agenda. So I'll make sure that that gets put on there. Um, yeah, any other questions, thoughts? Exciting. What's that? Exciting. Yeah, it's ex I mean, this is going to, it's, it's big. It's going to be, I mean, I think. And then, uh, also, just I would encourage you if anybody comes up, you know, I just try and stem, like, try to stave off some of the, you know, some people get hurt feelings, and I do understand because we, it's, it's a complicated situation. You want to have a really wide open door. Anybody could come, everybody should come. But if 99.9% .9 of your population doesn't speak your language, you really have to do some work to to say, let's not just have an event where we bring all these speakers and then talk in English the whole time. So we had a discussion today about, should we cut people off if they're going for too long? And I said, well, if they're speaking Tlingit, then I think we just let them go. But we do, we should have something. If someone switches over to English so they can explain how to do something, while that's valuable, I think we have to sort of, in the interest of not switching over to English, have a process of saying, you know, and I'm not asking you guys to tell people to switch back into Tlingit, but what I'm encouraging you is if someone comes up and says, boy, I, because, I, you know, they can get headsets. There'll be 200 headsets, and you can listen to a live translation, which is very hard. It's very hard to listen to something and then to translate it live. Uh, and we have four... Uh, what do we call them? We have four interpreter interpreters, and then um, and so. But the other thing is, some people might say, uh, and for some reason they're communicating that they feel bad that they have to go sit behind this rope because they don't know Klinget. And so, what we're we're really trying to create this kind of visual stage where the, the speakers of the language are, are sort of up in the front and they're going to be heard and they have this chance to talk. And, you know, 
if you work with the old people, you'll realize if somebody goes to talk, like you know, I saw this event where they had a bunch of people and they hired someone to come in and tell a story and think it, and he came in and he says, well, the only one that's going to understand me is that person, so I'll just say it in English, right? And so to try and keep us into that clinket language zone, which is getting harder and harder, I think, to push people into. Um, we are sort of physically setting the space so that the speakers are a little bit removed from folks, and, and that could cause a lot of heartache. And we don't want heartache. We want people to feel good, and we want people to feel like this is something that's positive and productive. Um, let's see. Yes, say it again, say it slowly. Uh, is there any, oh sorry, is there any way to soften a request? Like, there's not please, but is there any way to like, without telling somebody like Juan. what to do? You could say Juan, like Juan is another way. Uh, so that can usually come after a command, and that's just sort of saying, may you, it doesn't have the same, you know, you would use this if you really don't know somebody, though. That's a, you know, but if you just said, like, to ach in kananik, or, that we, I mean, they taught us that you could say things like, ach jiyakanach, um, which means get out of my way. But it, in, the, in the right context and with the right sort of tone, um, and you say, be ready to say, Gunas chish iyu khatangi, Gunas chish ach eat atletu. Be ready to laugh and laugh at yourself. And how will it work to have three different languages in one room? Yeah, so I, I think they're bringing more Haida and Simshian speakers than we thought. So there will be times when we're together, but we've, we're reserving other, the breakout rooms are going to be reserved for them when we're not broken out. And so we'll be working with their language leadership to make sure that, uh, because it's not a trilingual and quadrilingual space. It's a, it is a space where Clinkit has primacy. Uh, and so, but when they're talking, uh, it'll probably be in English when we give like the language reports and stuff like that. But we've tried to make those really short uh, because I think the lot of the labor is in moving in and staying in the language. And so I think there's lots of things that end up being these sort of devices to kick us over to English. So we've tried to keep those things really, really short. Um, okay. Other thoughts? How do you say, I just want, I'm, or I'm just listening. Oh. Um, Yes. Uh, I think. Would that be okay to say, or is that kind of a cop out? <laughs> well, I, yeah, and so you could probably put it in this. Just uh, day. I'm just going to listen to people. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, you can say something like that. You know, just right. I'm just I'm just learning clinket. So those those things I think are fine. Um, if if you're asked to speak, though, you should try. Yeah. But yeah, if you know. And so that's totally, and it's fine to just be on the quiet side. Uh, there will be times where there's sort of breaks and there's, you know, so, but also just really keep in mind, this is your good chance to try. Mm -hmm. Try it out, right? And, and you know, you got to maybe soak in the water that morning and whip your skin because there are some of our beloved elders who correct harshly. And so just be ready for that. Don't get discouraged. Uh, and if something does go wrong or, you know, there, there are, I've been at gatherings where uh, 
somebody, you know, was, I don't know what they're, I think they were like playing with a gumboot and making it talk and they got really chewed out in front of, ev they pulled them up in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. And so I, I have seen uh, things where it, it got very real and very emotional and very raw. I, I don't think that that type of thing is going to happen, but there are sometimes kind of competitions and sometimes some unhealthy behaviors and um, other things can happen like someone could stand up and be saying something and not everybody knows it but they're actually saying some really hurtful things to somebody else in the room. Um, someone can get corrected in front of everybody. So there, there could be some uncomfortable moments. Uh, you know, we'll try to stay positive and support each other uh, and just know that we've, you know, there, there are learners who are taking this thing really far and sometimes we have to endure our share of criticism. A lot of it is fair, some of it is unfair and so let's just make sure we're, we're also supporting each other and we're also not getting into these uh, I'm with this group and this group doesn't like that group. We'll just really try to steer clear of that kind of stuff and just focus instead on language use, language learning, and uh, you know, and, and the folks who are going to talk to us. They have wonderful speakers coming down from the interior and coming over from other communities. And also like take opportunities like during some of the dinners, we're going to encourage the the learners and the understanders to sit with the fluent elders and so and sometimes just stay with who you're comfortable with but other times go and talk to somebody new right because we've got to start forming these connections within the language community as well because there might be someone there you're like I don't even know who that is man I want to go, go talk to them and then uh, sometimes it's easier to hang out with people you already know because you can pick each other, you know, you can read each other a little bit better and maybe it's easier to talk because you don't have to say the full thing. Uh, but challenge yourself as well. So challenge yourself, but also take care of yourself. Sleep, try and sleep well, hydrated, uh, snack when you need to, take a walk when you need to. Uh, realize that the whole thing, it's going, it's broadcast. It's going to be on 360 North. It's going to be webcast. It's going to be recorded. At some point, it'll all be transcribed and translated. Uh, so don't take that as a huge pressure thing, because if uh, you stood up and you said uh, whatever, instead of then we can edit that later as far as some of us cut that from the tape or, you know. And so, but don't, there's all these things I think that lead learners and speakers to just freeze and so my hope is that these three days don't come and go and then you're sitting there saying boy I wish I would have said something or tried it you know and so and let's just try and check in with each other check in with the other learners and also um, yeah you go I one think like for me that first day is going to be just getting comfortable with and then if, if that comfort level is there then people will speak more mm -hmm. and if it's not then uh, maybe not so much you know uh, yeah yeah right and, and there could there, there could be you know things where uh and feel free to check in if if you're got something on your mind and it's, and if there's some way I can help let me know and if you can help each other but yeah if, and if it's if it feels right go for it but then also you know if those older speakers want to speak we're gonna give them the floor because it's a they have the knowledge and they also have generally less time than we do so but at the same time we when we're doing when we're on breaks there's also going to be sections like when we're sharing meals and stuff, uh, you know, because there, there's also going to be like, oh, yeah, well, maybe during lunch I'll just instead go do this and that and the other thing. It's like, well, yeah, but we're kind of here for this thing. So, okay. 
there going to be an expectation that people stay in the language like during breaks and meals and stuff? Like, is that the goal? That's my goal. I mean, that's my goal. As well. Like, but like, should people? Is there going to be any kind of ground rules for that, or like? Well, so we we have these sort of partition. There's going to be like a roped off area, and that's where the non-speakers really go, and the the, the beginners and the non we used to call them the guests, and. Uh, during breaks, they'll be thinking like, oh, I want to go say hi to my uncle or, or whatever. And so I'm sure during breaks there'll be lots of English. Uh, but we're going to put in the program that we're trying to speak as much Clinkit as possible. So please don't be offended if we stay in the language, you know. And so I wouldn't say like if somebody comes up and speaks English, I'm just not going to respond to them or anything, you know. But it might be something where we're going to encourage visiting in English to go meet in the hallway or to, you know. Okay. Okay. Anything else? So we, we're going to get to the Yesh Khan, but I also want to talk about the weekend, the week after the Language Summit real quick and see uh, basically, we've got Monday class and Wednesday class, and Wednesday's the day before Thanksgiving, and it's always hard to have a class the day before Thanksgiving, and then Monday, like I'm traveling, so I think if you can attend or watch as much of this language summit as possible, we can probably just take the whole week off for Thanksgiving week, unless anybody's opposed to that. Because I, I don't like to take too much time off, but I, then I do realize that we're going to have these three full days, lots to process, lots of projects to work on. It'll give you some time to start, just really put some time into your, um, your domain project. And uh, if you want to, uh, we'll pro I'll probably use the same link for our class on Tuesday from 3 to 5 p.m. Uh, is that right? Yeah, 3 to 5 p.m. Uh, I'll be defending my dissertation. And you guys can feel free to watch it if you want. And you can ask questions and stuff. So. Sounds good to me. OK. And then. We get the week after that, and then so we'll have two weeks of class and then finals. And so that's kind of what we're looking at. It's language summit, Thanksgiving week off, that week together, first week of December together, and then our finals will be the Monday of the second week of December, basically. Uh, so Tuesday, it will be Thanksgiving week. So Thanksgiving week, we won't have class. I hope that doesn't feel lazy to anybody. I'm always paranoid. Um, OK. You can OK. Because we'll get all the time in. And then if you can't make it here uh, to Juno for the Language Summit, uh, again, it will be live stream. I'll also. I'll talk to them and figure out what their plan is to make the recordings available uh, because eventually they, the whole thing will be available. I'm not exactly sure if they've thought about that process yet, but um, they've hired KTOO to come in and film it. So it's, it's being filmed like a, you know, and, and they do the whole legislative sessions and everything. So they're very good at this. So even like if you were watching, like say there are these breakout sessions, like the Haida group goes over here, and the and, you know the Hatkil group goes over here, and the Smalgech group goes over here, and the Thinket group goes over here. They will actually film all three of those. And then they'll show one of them, and then show the other one, and then show the other one, and then then they'll show the when everybody gets back together. So you'll actually be watching a delayed version, and it'll eventually just catch up to live time. So it's it's pretty cool. Oh, class, uh, 
uh, Yaki Finals. Oh, Taiyuki. Uh, let's see the actual date. And then, you know, since we're getting down to a number of classes that are getting kind of, you know, we're down to a few classes, I also want to make sure that you're getting everything that you need. So our final is going to be on December 10th. So that's when you'll present your um, I, what I would like to see is for you to give uh, a presentation on your project, which would be how to take the language into this realm. And so what we're thinking, what I'm thinking of is a pretty, like, you're really thinking this thing through everything you might need to take the language into this specific realm. For example, if I wanted to say, this is for berry picking in the Tlingit language. So then I'm going to get all the names of all the different types of tools I might be bringing. Some people bring an umbrella and a special and a stick and they beat the soap berries off the bush into the umbrella. So you got to figure out the names for these types of things and then the different types of berries and then also getting into all the types of verbs that might be there. Right, so what are all the things that we might have to communicate with each other? Uh, or we're harvesting medicines. You know, what is this? Is this edible? Is this a medicine? Uh, where, how do, I, how do I gather this? Do I cut it? Do I pull it? Do, you know, uh, is it ripe? You know, all these different things. So really try and think of all, and we'll have a chance to, um, share this stuff. So I think what we'll do is you guys will work on that Thanksgiving week. That'll be your work week. The Monday after Thanksgiving, uh, we'll start talking about how to get this thing ready and to present. And then uh, on December 10th, that'll be when you present it. And that'll be our final project for this class. Okay. Okay, and you know, let me know, language questions or questions about this class, always feel free to bring them. So let's do uh, a few of these, and we'll try and move through. We're getting close, I think we're over halfway done. Who wants to read? Away, away, Yes. Okay. Wait, uh. um, somewhere I, I saw where it might be um, like to complete an errand. Very good. He finished. Ah, uh, to finish an errand. Yeah, because I mean, it's a way, yan. So the yan, you don't usually see the awe 
separating the yun and the verb, right? But sometimes in the context of like speaking, sometimes it just sort of, but I think what you find is when you've got fluent speakers, the awe, it, it marks either like a change of subjects, meaning to just put a little bit of space between these thoughts, or maybe it's kind of a um type of a moment, uh, or it's just sort of signaling uh, I'm still talking or I would like to talk. So in, in this case, we'll just, yeah, and so usually like the uh awe, that's something you see in oratory a lot. Uh, as far as like when they're just sort of moving, starting the next sentence. Uh, I forgot, I kind of had a way I was translating that, uh, away. Um, I kind of forget right now. So how are we going to translate this one? Um, perhaps, uh, so he sent the little owl to complete the... Uh, Aaron or the mission, Raven. In uh, Nation Story, they have a uh, Kaya Ka uh, to send, especially on a mission or on a message. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have the Ya. Oh, right. A word. Are they interchangeable, kind of? So, well, I see the ah kaya ka, which is to instruct or to give orders. And I was thinking that maybe I would find a version of it in later, but I don't really see it. And let me see if I've got it anywhere else. Yeah, I think this is the only place that I that I have it, but let me see if it's in other, other spots in the Raven book. That's out of the name. Okay. Let me. Oh, there it is. Well, it's, it appears twice in the Raven book, in this story and also in Yer uh, Sak, and then uh, in both spots, Yer uh, Sak is translated by um, Fred White. And I believe this version of Yesh Khan, this particular sentence comes from uh, Robert Zuboff and was translated by Nora. And so they have it as to talk somebody into it, right? So, and it's probably Yan Ayakawa Ka. And so this is something that Again, like as we have a verb, and then the ways we can create a new verb from a root is by changing the classifier, or by sometimes changing the transitivity, the objects and the subject, or by adding thematic prefixes to it. So yawaka is different than yakawaka. And so in this case, the yun probably goes on to it to say he had completely talked him into this. Uh, and so this is the case where uh, 
projects like retyping Clinkit that's only exists in a printed form. And there's lots of that that I think still needs to be done. Uh, if people are looking for fun projects or just things to do that contribute to everybody's language learning. Uh, we need retypes of Hatunagu Yis. We need retypes of um, the Anushi Klinkit Anika, the stories that are in there. We need retypes. I think some of the Seide Ya uh, has not been completed. And then we need retypes of um, little readings in Klinkit. Uh, and we also need all the sen sample sentences in the verb dictionary to be typed. So if anybody's looking for some projects, those are some things. Like if you're just not sure what to do, it's kind of uh, a, a different experience to just look at something and just retype it. But it, it does help your language learning and it also contributes. It gives us something we can use. And so because if you store this stuff on your computer, then a lot of times, like uh, especially if you have uh, a Mac, and I'll be waiting for my check from Apple, uh, you can go up to the Finder and you could just, you can enter something in Klingit and then it, it'll find it in all the documents that you have. And so I do this sometimes when I encounter a verb and, uh, and I don't know um, how to translate that verb. So what I should do is I can create a Google document that we can all access and I'll put all the things that need to be retyped. And then all you got to do is put your name by it. That way we're not duplicating efforts, which, you know, sometimes that happens. But, um, and then we can also, if you think of things uh, that, that should be retyped, and then you can certainly, you can just add them to the list. So it's just a, a group working list. Uh, it's not really a, a, uh, something that I'm assigning, but if it's something that this is, uh, especially if you're sort of like, well, I need some more stuff to do to stay in Tlingit. So stuff like this helps. Sometimes you need this stuff where you're just, you're kind of entering data and it's also something where you, you don't have to think too intensively about it, but it is contributing to your language learning. And then it also gives us some stuff just to have this, these things available for now and for future language learners is very, um, beneficial. Do scans of it so you can have them both on the computer and go from one side to the other? Yeah, I got PDFs of all of those things. And so, did I add, did I share a link to a Google folder with you guys that has, just look in that Google folder. And in that Google folder, um, the way, it, when you access it, uh, let me, so this curriculum folder uh, is a Google folder that is shared uh, I don't share like the editing part, but you can view it and then if you send me stuff, I'll put it in there. If you have stuff that you see that I don't have, feel free to send it to me and I'll add it here. Uh, this is one way I share like a whole bunch of stuff, including uh, stuff that people might be upset that it's being shared uh, digitally. I don't know why. But so... There's a bunch of stuff in here. Some things that I would point out would be uh, under this language illustrations. Like here's a whole bunch of images. Like if you're trying to look for images of something uh, under stock images, there's just a whole bunch of, there's a bunch of stuff in here. And some of it is, I think, drawings. Uh, and some of it is, uh, you know, photographs. And so this is where uh, all the stuff I use in the curriculum, like the beginning Clinkit workbook and all that stuff, it's all in here. And so, somewhere. If you, don't, if you see something that's not in there, let me know, and I'll put it in there. And also, I found the problem with the broken links on ClinkitLanguage.com with the audio, so I'll be fixing that over the next couple weeks. Uh, but also, if you go down here under Texts, uh, this is where you would find things that uh, have been published. And so they're usually there by the last name of the author. And so if you go to, uh, what's going on? Sorry, this thing is being very slow. My computer's on a 2 But if you click on the Dawn you'll get there. 
uh, and then Naiman, and then when we do the retypes, I'll usually put them under Shkashnik, or um, I might have to rethink how these are being organized, but anyways, it's not responding, so. So we'll go back here. So he sent the owl to complete the task. So let's say, uh, um, he talked him into, uh, he talked the owl, he the owl, <laughs> he talked the owl into doing it, Raven, right? And so, you know, maybe we want to rethink it, but uh, yeah, that's that ayakawaka, uh, and especially probably the yan ayakawaka is to talk somebody into doing something. Okay. Gook, natu. Achoa, ye yawa ka. Yik e, yik e, kakwa ak. A day dak wa dekini. Eh, like ha kina ka. So typo. Kakwa ak. Oh, yeah, well. Sheesh. Typo ah, typo shagugu khatsati. Typo, oh, maybe kaukt kadidatli ayakuna khashuk. I've mastered the typo. Achawayeyawaka, how would we interpret that? He said, thus he said, or then he said, or something. And so he said. But this part. That's why. Yeah, that's why. Maybe because of that. Yuck, hey. It's good. We're good. Yuck, hey. Kuk kwa ak. Oops. <laughs> I can't type in any language. Maybe I'll try Hawaiian. I'll try. Ate dak huatakini. I'll fly there, out there. Yeah. A two. Especially if you haven't read yet. Ah, away at the keen away. I also yake wake on yande. Sheesh. Um. No clue. Ah, away at the keen away. The keen is like out towards the water. The keen is flying. Ah, would be. What is the ah part? Ah, after that. A duck, yeah, away from it, right? And so there's lots of ways that this can be interpreted. And then we'll see, like, so this is the motion verb right here. So at is going to be, that's the, that's the verb. So ah is coming before it, but it's not the full-on sort of, because when it comes right before a motion verb, sometimes it changes the meaning of it, because it could be to pick it up off of that thing or to, you know, 
go away from it. How are we going to trans? How are we going to interpret that? He flies there. From there, then he flies there. Yeah, so we could say, um, you know, he takes off and flies to it. So we've just got decisions to make, right? Because we've got this at taqeen, and so it it's probably like to be like flying out to it to arrive because the at with the high tone right before a motion verb could be one of two things. It could be to fly around or to arrive. You know, so it could be to just generally go around. Like you say, at good I walked around. At good I walked up to that thing. I, I made it to that, to there, right? At yeah, well, so at, at nagu would be walk around. At gu would be walk to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then this is, this is probably the to it one. So he, ah, away at taqeen. He takes off and flies to it. Is probably what that is doing, right? Ah, away at wugud. At yagud, I think. Or at gud. Oh, it's kind of an unusual way to say it. Oh, ayaw siyek. We didn't find that one, did we? We looked for it last time. Is that like to, to tear it or rip it? Or crap? Ayaw siyek. So we're probably going to find it under yeek. Uh, but we don't it's like to bite it, to carry it. There's these sort of pulling, sinking type of things. I think this is one, if I remember right, we didn't fully kind of find it. But it, it really means to pull, to grab maybe. Ausiyik, uh, pull. Uh, a is that? Yeah, that's it. A tying it, tied up, let it. Ah, oh, at the king, oh, a yausiyik with on. I would probably suggest just he brings it, right? There, there's some specific way of bringing it, which we could probably examine a little bit more. But if we look in the way that this is translated in the story, we should get he, he's carrying it, he's dragging it, he's picking it up, he's biting it. It was kind of attaching. I think we had this on there earlier with the nose thing, right? So, I know I guess that was a kausichat. Where did he say that? Yaqis yaqi. Ah, yawa. Because when he's asking him to bring it, so he takes off and flies to it. And Brought that fire. Yende. Would it be to the shore? Mm. To yeah, oh, wow. Okay, so this is where we'll pick up. Probably not much, probably like forever from now. So um, we'll just sort of set this aside for a couple of weeks, probably, because we've got next week, we've got. Uh, Tessin visiting, then the language summit, and the week after that we won't have class. 
Uh, but you know, think about your projects. If you want to do some retypes, I'll send a link out to uh, the um, the Google document, and then I also have a template that you can use. Uh, that way, the tables are already set up for you, and then uh, we'll just kind of go from there. Feel free to let me know if you've got any questions. Uh, if you uh, can't make it here to Juno, just check the link. There'll be stuff going on, uh, including during the time when we usually have class, if your schedule doesn't allow you to watch other parts of the summit. I'll work with them to make sure that we've got a version for you that you can access uh, after it's been recorded so that you can check it out. Gulchish, Kunachawe, Yiyake, Ucha. Gulchish. Gulchish. Okay. Three types could be something 